What's going on you guys? My name's Ty Knotts and welcome to Top 5 Unknowns, 5 Disturbing Public Service Announcements. Number 5. Back in 2005, a PSA was developed to raise awareness for war-torn countries in Africa. CBS decided to accomplish this by creating one of the most horrific cartoons ever produced, starring the Smurfs. In the video, we're shown a typical happy Smurf village, though it's soon bombed by warplanes. Smurfette passes away and baby Smurf is left as an orphan. As the scene finally closes, the entire village is left in disrepair, with homes destroyed and buildings burning. According to a UNICEF spokesperson, the ad actually worked, and quite well. Every time the PSA aired, a surge in visitors to their website was noticed. UNICEF and CBS made the decision to only air the ad after 9pm so as to avoid potentially traumatizing children, as well as to more easily target adults. Regarding the ad, UNICEF states, We wanted to have a lasting effect of our campaign, because we felt that in comparison to previous campaigns, the public is not as easily motivated to do things for humanitarian reasons, and certainly not when it involved Africa or children of war. Overall, the ad is considered to be a widespread success and saw a major improvement in UNICEF donations. Have a look. Number 4. These next few clips are part of a series of Canadian workplace accident ads that aired in Canada in the early 2000s. There were five of these ads total, each of which is very, very disturbing. The PSAs were intended to raise awareness for workplace safety in an effort to decrease workplace injuries. Have a look, but again, realize that these are extremely graphic. I'm the sous chef here. With any luck, I should be head chef by next year. I've got this amazing fiance. Well, I won't be marrying this weekend because I'm about to be in a terrible accident. But really, I should have cleaned up the grease over there, and they should never put the deep fryer so close. <laughs> I'm working overtime because I want to take my family on a nice vacation. Soon they get a call telling them I was killed in an accident. But hey, I'm wearing a busted harness here. And the company should have checked those tanks to the... There's been an accident! Get out of here! This was no accident. The company knows it's against code to store that much weight up there. I knew I should have been focused on what I was doing. And it's obvious the supervisor didn't report that broken shelf. Placed that ladder years ago. I knew I shouldn't have reached over like that. And why isn't there a strict policy about two people doing a job like this? James was with our company for ten years before this tragic accident. Whoa, he... whoa, whoa. Accident? What are you talking about? Your company never fully trained me to deal with high voltage wires. And the way they were insulated? It was obvious someone wanted to get home in a hurry. What was I thinking? Not wearing all of my safety equipment. Number 3. This next clip is from the 1950s and was a short film dubbed Boys Beware, created to raise awareness for, I kid you not, the danger of homosexuals. A direct quote from the film states, One never knows when a homosexual may be about. 
he may appear normal. The film had a total budget of about $1,000 and was intended to educate teenagers about the dangers of sexual predators. However, the fact that the film focuses so heavily instead on the danger of homosexuals is just strange, though at the time, talk like this was fairly commonplace. The film was created by Sid Davis, who's known for creating pretty far-fetched propaganda videos around the time, though this is certainly one of his worst. Have a look. That looks innocent enough, doesn't it? Lots of young people hitchhike. Seems like a good way to get from one place to another. But sometimes there are dangers involved that never meet the eye. So no matter where you meet a stranger, be careful if they are too friendly. One never knows when the homosexual is about. Let's take the case of Jimmy Barnes. Jimmy played baseball all afternoon and he didn't feel like walking home so he decided to thumb a ride. He'd done it a hundred times before, and he didn't think anything was unusual when the driver struck up a friendly conversation. In fact, he seemed like a real nice guy. What Jimmy didn't know was that Ralph was sick, a sickness that was not visible like smallpox, but no less dangerous and contagious, a sickness of the mind. You see, Ralph was a homosexual, a person who demands an intimate relationship with members of their own sex. So no matter where you meet a stranger, be careful if they are too friendly, if they try to win your confidence too quickly, and if they become overly personal. One never knows when the homosexual is about. He may appear normal. Number two. This next clip was developed sometime around the 1960s and is a bit overly dramatic compared to the other clips on this list. The PSA was created in an attempt to scare citizens into no longer littering, though the film never really explains why littering is a danger. It simply shows clips of people littering and states the phrase, clean up. The film was recorded in a horror style, fairly reminiscent of The Twilight Zone and other similar shows of the era. Check it out. Number 1 This final PSA was created in the early 2000s to raise awareness for landmines in poor or war-affected countries. The PSA was so graphic that it allegedly only aired a single time on a single network, then was never broadcast again, though the clip was recorded and eventually made its way into the general public. In the video, we're shown a children's soccer game surrounded by family, friends, and a small audience. The scene appears to be a simple day like any other, though things take a very dark turn very quickly. Have a look and let us know in the comments, was this PSA too graphic to be broadcast? Thank you guys so much for watching. 
If you like this video, be sure to click that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep updated with our videos.